Monday morning and it is snowing outside and it's 31 degrees but we're at school today um, I think the high is supposed to be in the 40s so whatever lays will melt I was hoping for a delay this morning but I'm here and it is 722 so I have eight minutes to unpack and get ready for my kids so I'm gonna do that and I'll touch base with you guys in a little while so, my kids are at lunch. We have had a pretty good, productive morning, and I didn't get a chance to do my whole group lesson this morning, so I just pulled kids over to work with me on some different things that they're struggling with, which was so nice because I haven't been able to do that with all of the progress monitoring. But I have students working on a nonfiction writing assignment where they are telling information about an animal. And so I have like, I don't know, 10 or so different animal books that have lots of important information and they're fun and engaging and they have fun facts and pictures and the kids really seem to like them. And so we're using a template that tells them things to look for in the text and then we're gonna take that information and turn it into their story. So I had two kids this morning start writing their stories. Their, um, they finished their facts last week and were able to get started on their introduction and some of their meat, some of the meat of their story today. So that's really exciting. I also had some kids finishing up some work from Friday on the book, The Fire Cat that we're reading. And because we're keeping the book another couple of days, I'm just gonna wait and do chapter two tomorrow. So when my kids get back from lunch today, we are going to do an anticipation guide. And so this is what it looks like. So before they read or learn anything about their heart, they're gonna put true or false next to these statements. And then, and then we're gonna talk about their heart and how it's the size of their fist and how it pumps blood when you open and close your fist. That's like your heart pumping blood. And I'm gonna give them each a cardboard tube, like a toilet paper roll or paper towel roll. And they're gonna listen to each other's hearts. And then they're gonna think about what they can do to try to get their heart to beat faster. And then I have a book called Hear Your Heart that I'm gonna read. And it talks about how your heart is always beating night or day and how you can keep your heart healthy. And then, and then we're gonna talk about what we can do to keep our heart and our muscles strong because your heart is a muscle. So we're gonna do that today. So last week I started working on the standard that talks about sound. And we read a book about sound I think it was called Sounds All Around, and then they were to think of some sounds that they liked to hear, and then some sounds that they didn't like to hear, and then they drew a picture, which they haven't finished those. We might start with that before we get into their heart. But, um, so yeah, we're gonna be talking about sound for a little while, and that's where we're gonna start on that. My kids have music today, so after science, they will be going to music. So I'm going to go get a little bit of work done. Not sure if I'm gonna eat lunch today. I'm not really feeling that hungry. And then I will touch base with y'all when my kids go to music. My kids are at music right now, but when they came back from lunch, we did this anticipation guide. And so I read them the sentences and they had to decide whether they thought the sentence was true or false. And then I had the kids take their fist and look at their fist because that's about the size of their heart and then put it on the middle of their chest and move it to the left a little bit and that's where their heart is. And then I had them open and close their heart like this, or the, I had them open and close their hand like this over and over and I told them that that's how their heart beats 
but it never gets tired. So I have this gigantic box of paper towel and toilet paper rolls because I collect them at home and then just bring them to school because you never know when you might need them. Plus with our science, where we talk about sound, they come in handy. So they thought that was really cool. Some of them couldn't hear their partner's heartbeat. So I set a timer for 30 seconds and I had them run in place for 30 seconds and then listen. And then the second time they were able to hear it. And our learning target is I can understand that sound is made by vibrating objects and air. So, um, I wanted to read them a story, that story I showed you guys earlier, but we just ran out of time. So, we will continue that tomorrow. For math today, we are going to learn a new game called Plus Nine or Minus Nine Bingo, and we're going to talk about how we know what plus 10 is and so then we just subtract one and if we subtract 10 then we just add one so we'll be playing that game today wish me luck <laughs> um but right now i need to go ahead and finish my mid-year pdp which is my professional development plan for the year i haven't done that yet and also i have some referral sheets for Title I that I need to fill out on my kids now that I know all of their in-class scores. I also have a math assessment that I would like to grade. Not sure if I'm going to get that done today. So I'm going to work on those things and then when my kids get back we will start our math game. Oh and starting this week I'm not doing any more math homework. Just reading. And we decided as a grade level that that's what we wanted to do. So my whole grade level is only doing reading homework. That way it'll be one less thing we have to check in the mornings. Plus half the time you don't know who's doing it, mom or dad or brother or sister. And um, plus it'll give them some extra time in the evenings to spend with their families. So I have a little note I wanna send home about that as well as their Valentine note because Valentine's Day is Wednesday. And um, we are, excuse me, and we are exchanging Valentines. So, I'm gonna get some work done. Those are the wild cards? A, a 10 and then a 100. Miss Edwards, look, a 10 minus plus nine will be 19. 10 minus nine will be one. Okay, so which one's gonna get you close? There you go, that's good. I gave the number. There Okay. You do one. Okay, I have a go. Pick one. Ready? Pick three cards because I picked three. Fifteen. Fifteen plus nine will be here. Now, let's do it. Let's take away this and do five plus nine. And that Seventeen. Wait. Or we can do it easier. We can add five. That will be twenty. Yeah. Add ten and then subtract one. Mm -hmm. That will be a... 25 and then 24. Yes. I told my kids to put their bingo boards in a nice neat pile and stack their bags and this is what they did. And there's a lone number and a lone chip. And I guarantee you there are chips on the floor somewhere. Oh, I see three. One, two, three, four. Even after I told them to check the floor, because sometimes things fall, there's still chips on the floor. So, guess who's gonna have to pick them up? Moi. And I also said, someone left their baskets on the table. These need to be put in the right spot, and they're still on the table. I just don't understand. But anyways, my kids are going home. I had to take first load buses out today. And I stopped by and gave Paisley a smooch because she's going with her dad this evening. Um, I'm hoping not to be here too terribly long. I do need to check over my plans for tomorrow. And I have my copies made already, so that's good. So I'm going to look over my plans. And then I'm going to head on out of here. I suppose I'm finally ready to head out of here. It is 
like 4.35 and I have been so busy but very productive. I got two math assessments scored for all of my students. I got those Title I referral papers completely finished. I am ready for tomorrow. I don't have any papers to take home to grade. I do still need to sort math pages, but I can probably do that in the morning or sometime tomorrow. I don't need them tomorrow, but I would like to just go ahead and have them sorted. So yeah, it's been a pretty good productive afternoon. I'm feeling really good about it. So I am going to go ahead and call it a day. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below to let me know you liked it and be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos from me in the future and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!